statement is very concise and it's enhancement of quality of life here in the five counties. And there's a lot of ways in which we do it. As far as our work last year, it's our fiscal year which ended 630. Um, we provided $7.4 million in grants and scholarships for the five counties. And we received $6.4 million in contributions. We have some 566 different funds right now. And they're all different. Uh, all different in size. They range from a couple thousand dollars and one is $11 million. One thing that I'd like to give a report on um, is our scholarship work. It's very important to the Midshore. Uh, this last year we provided $1.7 million in scholarships for the five counties. And we have a variety of scholarships. We have the traditional uh, high school scholarships, those going to college, and uh, we have the non-traditional, which would be career and technology related, workforce development related. Last year we had 332 applications in total. Uh, that within itself uh, is a monumental task to make sure they're organized, make sure they're complete, make sure they fit where they need to fit, because we want scholars to have a chance to qualify for numerous scholarships. I think that and we had 267 traditional scholarships and we had some 65 non-traditional scholarships. And here's a good example of what Midshore can do. We had a director in Kent County about three years ago and he called and his question to me was, you know, we have a crisis with healthcare professionals here in the five counties. I said, well, it's nationwide, but certainly we have it here. He said, can Mitchell do anything about it? I said, let me think about it. So after my audit was certified and completed for that year, I went to my board of directors and I said, would you give me $100,000 of Mitchell's grant making capability and let me establish a health care scholarship fund? They said, absolutely do it we were able to accumulate another $150,000 from various donors in the area. So we had about $250,000 in scholarships for health care, health care only for that first year. Some of the other things that we did, career and technology is near and dear to me. We've missed a generation or two as far as that's concerned. And here's the way those scholarships broke down. Um, those scholarships, we had 47 different scholarships for career and technology, and they went to 44 students. There were certain students that got several scholarships. Welding, very popular. CDL drivers, very popular. All those types of things are critical. Point is this, our window for scholarships opens for next year, next school year, tomorrow, December 1st. So please get on our website, start to make your applications. Another thing that we just did finish, Midshore Gives. And Midshore Gives is an interesting story. Um, as I got out from COVID and talked to the not-for-profit folks, one theme was loud and clear. We have not been able to do any fundraising due to COVID, and we need ways to create funding so that we can continue to do our mission. So we asked some of our directors, and one of our directors uh, lived up in the Alexandria area and had retired to Dorchester County. And he said, I think there's a program up in that area that can help with what you're trying to accomplish, help the not-for-profits raise some money electronically. So we went to that community foundation, found out how to do it, and we did it for the first time last year. We just did complete it several days ago, and the results, I think, are quite good. $86,000, all for the not-for-profits, and we had 589 different donations, and they're varying size from one was 500, one was 1,000, some of them were $5. It makes no difference. It supports the not-for-profit that the individual designates. And we had 77 organizations receive
contributions by virtue of midshore gives. So that, I think, as it builds and builds, will become an increasingly more important source of funding for the not-for-profits in our area. So in summary, one of the really important pillars of our strategic plan for Midshore is support the not-for-profits in the five counties in any way that we can, be it fundraising, be it training, be it fund management, be it collaboration, be it introductions, because if we have a healthy not-for-profit community here in our five counties, it will certainly enhance the quality of life for our citizens.